Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our painting together. Now, last week you guys chose to do some beautiful large rocks and the waves crashing against those rocks, so I'll go ahead and do that today. Let's get started. We'll start off today with our two inch brush and a little bit of brown and yellow. And you can kind of see it here on my palette. And of course, <laughs> I've been painting earlier today, so that's the reason the palette looks the way it does. All right, I'm just wanting to do this nice, nice color right here and it really reflects the brown in the rocks and the yellow in the sky and I'm going to highlight, let's put a little more red in there, I'm going to highlight with some yellow and white pure so you've got to have some more subtle almost muddy colors especially in a sunset. I don't mean muddy. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is you got to have some more subtle colors so that you can put the bright ones on top. If you just go, go straight into the bright it ends up kind of looking weird. So Kind of hold, hold back on the bright colors till, till you're ready to highlight and then, oh, just sparkle it up. It'll be cool. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Fun. Now, let me set that brush down and grab another one, blue. Now, there's very little blue up there, so I'm going to mix it with some red to get a beautiful purple. Ooh, too purple. Add a little brown. Good. And this will be my dark. I don't want to go overboard with this, though. You can even go into a little bit of, well, just change the color. At this point, I've got all sorts of things happening. Just change the color here. See, this helps to, helps to show what was, what's going on in the sky in the water. There's some of that red to help reflect that red. So it loosely matches the sky here, very loosely. Now with our filbert brush and a little bit of black and brown, see, just a little bit of brown and black together on the brush, I'm just gonna simply block in Quite a few of these large boulders because that's what you guys said you wanted. There, so far, and I'm sure this will always be true, but you guys make such good choices. It's so fun to see what you guys want. And it's just, this has been one of the most exciting video series we've done together. This is really cool. There, because I finally get to hear from you guys exactly what you want as we're going. It's just amazing. All right, so see, I'm gonna just work at making a couple of layers of rocks here using mist kind of as my separator. That's pretty subtle, but you know, we'll work on that more as the painting develops, okay? You'll notice that I am not at all concerned yet about, oh, there's some beautiful rock. I'm not concerned about the wave, not yet. Just let me get the rocks in first. Let the waves sort of go around the rocks because that's the way it is, right? The rocks are there first, the wave would come in second, so that's the way we'll paint it. Good. All of this can be changed or covered depending on what we want to do. I'm just kind of really bringing in my ideas right now as far as the exact rock placement. It's pretty, pretty good right about there. I can always cover these rocks with the wave. Maybe a couple of small subtle guys right back out here. Good. Now, as you can see, I've spent just a couple seconds here sketching in where, you know, we might want our wave. I'm using a beautiful soft pink color. There. And to get the soft pink color, it's a little red and, red and white, and then you add blue. And the blue makes it soft. There. If you add too much blue, you get purple, so don't go quite that far. All right, and the reason I chose this color is, look, it's pretty much, pretty much matches the sky there. So that's the reason I chose it. Good, because I want all my colors together to match and feel like one painting. Well, I say all my colors are really our colors, aren't they? This is our painting. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Okay, so there. And as you can see, we're going really pretty subtle here with the color because I want to make sure I have enough, enough dark in here that I can highlight. Okay, I think we're going to need an episode just for highlighting. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, do too little. There's got to be a lot of highlight here. And a lot of impact. Now we gotta figure out what's going on. Maybe this wave kind of dips down a little more like this. I don't know. That's cool. Okay, enough of that. We can't really see that. Let's go with something. Well, let's get our darks in there. So now I'm gonna take some blue and some red together to make a deep purple. Add a little touch of brown to that so that it's not so shiny. And there you have it. Purple gray. Pretty simple. Gonna use this to block in our wave. The dark part and we may not be able to do much more because like I said I want to make sure we have that highlighting episode 
I hope you're looking forward to that one. I am. I think that episode is going to be fun. There. I'm just kind of getting everything close to ready for that episode. That's, that's basically what today is about. There. Now I'm going to jump right down here and begin working on the rocks. Again, it's just a little black and brown on the filbert. Very dark though. And it's pretty easy to get this nice and dark. You can even put some texture on because by next week it'll be pretty much dry. So there you go. That we're doing a lot of, well, a lot of wet over dry paint. And that's more like an acrylic painting than anything else. So that's kind of cool. Get to see some different techniques, but you'll notice that they're pretty interchangeable. There, <laughs> fun. Okay. I hope you guys are so excited for the highlighting episode. I think that'll be probably next week, assuming everything goes according to plan. There. Be sure to share this video and, and like and subscribe if you're excited for the highlight video. There. I think, it, I think this painting will go from kind of nice to really exciting. Okay, good. I want to drop in just a few more rocks here. There, because you know, there's a lot of rocks in this coast, wherever this is. Good. We can always throw more in. I don't want to, I want to get too clogged up yet. This is kind of final detail stuff that's easy to add later. Good. Now using our filbert brush, I'm going to rub in a beautiful golden color right here to the eye of the wave. So you see, I've got it right here, a little bit of yellow and white, very simple. All right, maybe right in here. I'm going to go even more more yellow as I work away from there, as I work away from the center, because obviously that'll help us develop the light right there. Keep it concentrated and then <laughs> that looks more natural that way. Good. Oh, that's so pretty. Wow. <laughs> I love painting eyes, don't you? The eyes of the waves. There. They are fun. Good. Now take this color, do a little here. This is really not an in-depth wave. This is a good one though if you're just starting. Pretty easy. I got that little color there on the bottom. And then you simply splash this color in and around other areas too, because that's pretty much what you have to do in a seascape. If you put a color here, put it everywhere. Don't just isolate your colors. It'll make it look kind of, mm -hmm, look kind of, Kind of like your noob in seascapes, so try not to do that. It'll really make you, it'll give you a more professional look if you are able to sort of move your colors in and around everywhere, especially in the seascapes. It's really important. There. Now, let me show you. We're going to highlight, or we're going to blend our highlight. Take a blender brush, and this is really the best tool for this job. Set it down right here. Do these little circles. The Splendor brush will make your life so easy. Just <laughs> give it a try. It is worth it. Okay, there. See how that softened it? Now, I know, uh, I know we don't have the final highlights in, but I'd like to go ahead and just finish up this eye as, as much as possible. So a little bit of yellow and white, just as bright as I can get it. Not much. See, the secret is don't overdo. People like to paint their whole eye of the wave in this color, don't. Just stick this color right up at the top and then fade it in and it'll look like a little glow there at the top. See how that works? Now I've got a quick tip that I really hope will help. Just take a little bit of black on the, th on the detail round. I'm gonna say three quarter and you could use the three quarter. That's fine, this is just a little small. Take a little black, throw an outline under the wave like this. Wipe your brush and then blend it like this. That'll just give you a little extra shadow and just that much more contrast. I do that almost every time I paint a wave. All right, well, that's all the work we're gonna do on our little seascape for today. Now, there's no voting this week because next week we're gonna do our extra special highlight video. But on that video, I'll give you some more choices for the week after that. So you will get to participate in the next step. So I hope you're really looking forward to that. I know I am. Remember to share this video. Also like and subscribe for more painting videos. Thanks for watching.